has my experience been since being here? College is a scam. Car decline. It's given bum city. Okay, mess on here. You calm down. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. My blush gone. My blush gone. Fall off the face of the earth. <coughs> go and get ready. <laughs> my nails uh this color is so pretty i love it and this time i actually did two hands most times i just do one hand and get tired but i did two i love this color i'm gonna do my toes in the morning probably i don't know i want to clean do my toes i don't mean do things i want to do in the morning and then I'm gonna get ready for a lunch. I'm going to lunch. So, yeah. But I don't know if I wanna do my toes the same color or white, but this color is pretty, so I don't mind having this on my toes. Oh, and I need to find an outfit. And I need to do my hair anyway. Child, mm, child. Finally finished these toes. Now I could finally go and get ready y'all i'm bored so while i do my hair let's chit chat so i'm supposed to be going to lunch right but at this point it's like it, i'm supposed to be going to brunch actually and then turn into lunch at this point it's looking like then over you guys girl why aren't you out this house yet like i gotta go i gotta go i gotta go but i was doing my toes it took so long to do i did my nails last night and i finished so late i didn't want to do my toes because then i wouldn't have any sleep i woke up i was super tired i know i had plans for brunch so got myself together and did my toes probably because i haven't done nails in a long time they take me so long to do and like I'm a perfectionist so I spend ample amount of time on the same nail like like I spend so much time just looking and trying to perfect one nail and I have 10 fingers so imagine how long it take if I spend so long on one nail like that's not it but hurry up my life I guess but I'm gonna go hurry up do the sale, probably blow dry it, and then go hop in the shower, beat my face, and then we on the go. We on the go. Hey, we on the go. Let's talk college. How do we really feel about college? Personally, I feel like college is a scam. Unless you like want something in like healthcare or law or something like that, like essential workers, okay, yeah, go to college. <laughs> but other than that, college is a scam, like thousands of dollars for what? Like personally, my mind can't handle that. It's like if I'm focused on something, I somehow can't focus on something else. Like I can't multitask. And that's with school, with anything, like literally anything. Like I cannot multitask for the life of me. So it's so hard to just stick to one thing, stay focused and be consistent because I'm crazy, y'all. I'm crazy. I'm over it, honestly. To be honest, I'm absolutely over it. Like... Not to say it doesn't matter to me anymore, it's just, it doesn't matter to me anymore. The only thing really, like, keeping me is the fact that I want to be able to afford the lifestyle I want. And if you know me, your girl is expensive. Like, I like good, expensive, bougie, rich things. So I need to be able to afford that. So, I mean, I don't think giving up is an option in that regard. But it's just so tiring, honestly. 
My lips so dry and choppy. Minus lighting, whatever. Guess we could do. But yeah, it's just frustrating because I feel like if I take 10 steps forward, I take 20 steps backward. Like, I, ah, it's water cold. <laughs> Oh, I just want to be successful. And if not this, I'm not sure what I would want to do with my life. So, yeah. If the big surgeon thing don't bad out, it's giving bum city because I don't know what I want to do. Mind you, I have a lot of talents, but it's just staying consistent and, like, motivated, you know? And I don't think I have the amount like my my thing is i lack passion like in the moment i have it but it's so easy for me to like become unpassionate about something and then it's just like i'm doing something i don't want to do like i'm very indecisive with my life so and i'm very impulsive so if i think something and i want to do it i just go for it like but it doesn't last. Like, I don't stay up with it. I don't stay consistent. I don't stay riding the wave. I don't stay seeing it through. So, it's like, then what? I just need to find something that I really love and just devote to it. Like, don't lose the passion. Don't lose the work drive. Don't lose the work, work ethic. And just go with it. Like... I don't think anything is wrong with a 9 to 5, but honestly, I don't want to be doing a 9 to 5. And to have a business, it requires consistency and motivation. And I just feel like that's something that I lose so quickly. So it's like, I don't want the business to just die, you know? So I need to stay focused and I don't want to start something and then stop, start something and then stop. I keep doing that for the rest of my life, like... I need a plan and I need the drive. I need to put my head to it and stick to it. Not one minute I'm feeling it and the next minute I'm not, you know? Not one minute I'm feeling it and then I'm getting frustrated and then I don't want to do it anymore. Not one minute I'm feeling it and then a slight inconvenience happened. And I don't want to do it anymore. Like I just need to stay at it. Something that I would stay at. That I so that I'm so passionate about that I don't ever want to give it up, you know. I don't feel like that's anything. Like I don't feel like I'm that passionate about anything, honestly. I'm passionate about things, but to say as a career, I don't think so. Like I have something that I'd like to do, but it's like. I don't know if I can do that like for the rest of my life because it's so draining and it's so like I don't know, it just takes a big toll on my mental and my motivation and my self thoughts. It takes a big toll on that, so I don't know if that's something I could be consistent with. And if I get like if I'm my own boss, I get tired or dream and not want to do it, then I'm not gonna do it. Like. That's what I'm meaning, like, I don't want to just start something and then, boom, it flops. Because it's draining, or I'm getting tired, or I'm motivated. You know? I don't want to just start and stop. Like, I want to see it through. But I don't know what that can be for me. This is, the minute I get tired, it's like, I don't want to do this anymore. And then fall off the face of the earth. And that's not the vibe I want. Okay, y'all, so it's like 90% dry, so. So, yeah, I'm about to go bed and then beat my face. And then head out. <laughs> hey, y'all, just finished taking a shower. Already moisturized my face and everything. So now I'm about to start on my makeup. My skin is not skinning right now. Like, look at these bumps. Child. Anyway, I don't know how I'm going to set this up because I am blind. So I need the mirror. 
all the way to my face. This is my little makeup bag. It's dirty inside, but it's a makeup bag. Well, a makeup bag inside a makeup bag. So, I'm gonna start by priming my face with the Revolution Glass Glass Liquid Skin. <laughs> Revolution Glass Liquid Skin. Yeah, I love this primer because it has like highlight inside of it so it just gives me that dewy look that i like i like to look dewy you know i don't like the matte look i mean sometimes the matte look is cool but i just been getting more into dewy looks i think it looks super cute Ooh, it's very runny you gotta be fighting with this oh child <laughs> i know my boyfriend would say something stupid about this <laughs> anyway yeah, so it gives me that nice, uh, a nice prime and that dewy look. I have the, the Elf Power Grip that everybody be talking about. I tried it once, but I am, personally, I don't know if I see the height, but I don't know. I tried it for my birthday look and I wished I went with this Revolution Gloss Liquid Skin Primer. I wish I went with that. Because, I mean, I don't know. I wasn't excited about the results, to be honest. But, I don't know. Maybe I just have to try it again. And my makeup has gotten, like, better from then. And I was just, like, winging it then. So, uh, maybe I'll try again. i literally supposed to shape up my brows. But I'm just saying, you know, I was supposed to shape up my brows last night. So, I could just have, like, a smooth sailing. But I forgot, so... Let's shape up these brows. I mean, I am late. Not getting really late because it's not like I'm meeting anybody there. Like, it's just me, my dog, and I. But technically, I'm not late, but later that I wanted to let go, you know? So, there's that. One thing I don't want to rush is my makeup. I hate rushing my makeup. Actually, do I even have to shape this up? Because I love the little fluffy brow. It's kind of giving the girls. Wait, is it giving the girls? Let me see. I gotta put my glasses on. I gotta see the full effect. Put my glasses on. I mean, it's cute. Probably under hair, but not too crazy. I always wanted to get my brows waxed. I feel like that look cute. This I'm it would last longer. <laughs> I just said I wanted the fluffy look and proceeds to go all out. What is wrong with me? Okay, that's cool. I like that. I think. I don't know. I won't know early until I'm done, to be honest. And hopefully I don't hate it. Because then I would cry. And this razor is actually real dumb, so. I don't know. We really winging it at this point. Like I used to like shape up my eyebrows like every. Ah, oh, child, I don't do much. I could be bald. My eyebrows gonna be bald. I try to get this one hair. <laughs> I try to get this one hair and the rest coming off. Like every every hair but that one I try to get coming off. Child is. Anyway, I used to shape my eyebrows like every two weeks. Or whatever. I like how my eyebrows look shaped up and just to keep up the look and the maintenance but honestly I start to like my natural natural brows more like without being shaped up and team I, I kind of like that more because I don't feel the need to shape it up you know I mean it still looks cute to me because naturally I have a natural arch so it's not like oh I'm trying to fake arch so now ooh, ooh, I hate being blinded. Like I want contacts because I be having to look so close all the time. See, this what happen when you don't do makeup in a long time. You don't know when nothing is. I do makeup from like New Year's. Was it New Year's? Oh shit! Too much on the bottom. 
last time I did makeup, I think I was when I went out with my sister. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. That's too much brain power. <laughs> but this is lash glue, actually. Lash glue. Do a lash glue with adhesive. Wait. Brush on adhesive with vitamins. Or whatever. It works to lift the brows. I just don't like how messy it gets. And it's the NYX. I tried this before, and honestly, it's... It's... It's like it don't really do the job. Like it have a good grip, but not much. Anyway, let me prep my stuff while I just try a bit. I could try to mix these. I hope my shit don't turn white. Oh, Chad, this is already going bad. This is already going bad. This is like a recipe for the sauce. So I know why I choose right now to experiment. Okay, I see someone have one of them then stick thing which is smooth the stuff with so i must need one of them i just smooth it down with my coffee then like this this is like trial and error but i know what i do and i promise i ain't gonna wipe that off because i hate when it at the top okay not too bad <laughs> period i thought a bitch say something i thought she say something you know but I don't let this one dry too much. It did not. Jesus. Oh my gosh. Spent too long on that one. Get into place. Get into place. I don't like about this hack. Well, this little way to do my eyebrows up is the fact that it's so messy. Like, calm down. It's all the Anastasia brow lift or something. And that was too expensive, but honestly, I've seen a bunch of people use it, and they don't get these white casts and stuff, so I might just gotta bite the bullet and spend the coin, because this don't make no sense to me. This could have been done 10 minutes ago, and that's so annoying, honestly. So now I'm gonna fill the brow in with this pencil. I kind of spread away from the pencils a bit, and I was using one brow dip. But I'm back on the pencil. I just pull out the back portion, like the tail end, because that's where I have less hair. And the front of my brow is already thick, so I don't think it's needed. Probably go in a little bit. And then brush up. Okay. Period. <laughs> crazy y'all don't mind me if you know you know but yeah i crazy now jesus i hope i ain't looking crazy on this camera i just need to stop doing stupid lighting okay i think i look crazy i can't see because i blind but i think i look crazy okay uh, oh lord i need a new concealer good thing that's the la girl pro concealer in espresso say espresso espresso i don't know what i have a name espresso i love that that's kind of like my perfect shade or like one shade darker would be like my foundation color oh my god i get an umbrella one shade darker would be like the perfect perfect match for me for my skin because it's like i don't know it's perfect but i'm cool with it i mean i think i ordered one shade darker one time but i guess it never came let's just mix these two because I'm tired of my tail bowen looking super bright. So I mix them. Put it up lock. I don't know, I like to do stop with this side first. Think about the next side. That is the tail. Oh shit. Drag it down. Put it on your face. Put it back up a bit. Make it look like a little arch. I gotta do an in-depth little tutorial thing one day. Maybe, you just need it when I have no more. And I put the darker shade at the front, this Express Espresso. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I get it. You really can't talk when you're doing brows. Anyway, sometimes I get it too much on the hairs and it'd be looking crazy. Honestly, with brow, it'd be a hit or miss. Pearlescence. Facialness. I saw this on 
like when I was younger, it was Keisha Jabri. I used to watch her, cha her channel. Well, I still do, but she had the pearlescence list. Like, I don't know. I run through a lot of them. Actually, probably like two. Two of the rose waters. And they didn't have any of the rose water left. So I got the jasmine and green tea. But I don't know. Maybe doing what it needs to be done. I spray it to like, well, I use to spray it to set my face up to like last year i don't know i still do on and off like just that of the one but i started using the elf satin spray dewy satin spray and i use both like not just that other one would that be setting my face good i think i don't know i just been doing that for years and i never saw it fit to change so but i'm trying to actually get into more makeup and when it had supposed to be done and not just what I initially learned because I was so against primers until I actually tried primer. Was that like that one I just used on my face? That was my first, and <laughs> so that was my first. But yeah, that was my first, my first primer. <laughs> I love it. it. Made my makeup look really good. So I was like, okay, <laughs> this the hype. Like you know how like the makeup artist makeup be looking like. When I tried that and practiced on myself, that looked like I went to a professional. So I was like, okay, you will never ever get your pitch back. I never ever go in back to not using primer. I mean, unless I don't have any, like, by default. But if I have it and I have the option to use it, I'm never going back. Without primer, it still be cool. I don't know, my makeup journey's just been up and down. Like, around 2018-ish. I started getting into makeup. And I used to do like the full face, the full shebang. And I'm thinking I would look cakey. Maybe it looked cakey. Maybe it looked cakey to other people. But to me, that was a bomb. But with the mark I did, that was just too much. I used to OD. Literally. And it wasn't even necessary. So, yeah. I dropped that. Like in 20... 2020 yeah, i dropped that and just went the natural route like just foundation because i wanted to do my graduation makeup and it was like okay only natural looks and i never did a natural look because everything always used to be so extra so yeah i tried it and i kept practicing it yeah but i don't know looking back at it um the full face what i used to do that used to be a lot like Right on the eyes, I'm telling you. If I could find pictures, I'ma I'm a insert it for y'all. Another big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No flashback. No nothing. Yeah. 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 Just language, period. I just really am sure. Do what stuff for girls them paying. They get do like. My little self, I just use it be too much. So. Now I'm adding some concealer. This is the Elf Camo Concealer Matte Finish in Deep Cinnamon. Got dried on of it. The foundation itself look was cute, but it was not. But my face just lacked dimension, you know? It was just one. Like, naturally, okay, naturally my face is like, it's bright in the middle. Bright around here, bright around here, and the rest is dark. But my whole face, one color, I don't know. Looking back, it just lacked dimension or whatever so i got back into doing this and i started off light i didn't go really heavy but yeah this is the rare beauty blush and grateful i don't know what i'm wearing but we can go with some rare blush and wing it can it be like one dot it's never been a flush can I tell you that? Like, I don't know. They must give me a watered down blush because everybody be saying, oh, only one drop. It's so pigmented. Or maybe because I'm doing it with a sponge and the sponge is picking up a lot of product. But it just don't be looking like a lot to me. Well, don't be looking pigmented to me. I like my blush there. I like it seen. I like it known. I like it noticed. Okay? Okay. Yeah. I'll just leave that like that. I know I look crazy right now, but just bear with me. Draco's in with a book bag. 
and you blend that into the blush. Y'all, I know it look crazy. Please bear with me. <laughs> Please bear with me. And then you go in. I usually put concealer on my nose too. Am I going to do that today? Maybe, maybe not. Now let it hurry up, girl. Before the sunset. The sunset. The sunset. Okay. Blend it. I want to talk, but I don't know what to talk about. Let's talk about me later. Grenada, 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 how has my experience been since being here? It's been alright, I guess. Most of the people are friendly. One or two that's just been mean to me. It was this first, first incident when I came. It's embarrassing saying it, but I mean, it happens, honestly. But I was at the food store and the cashier was like, card decline or whatnot. And I didn't hear her say it, so... I'm still waiting for the like process it. I think I had only a limited amount on my card and then I had the rest in cash or something like that. But yeah, I didn't hear when she said, oh, it declined or whatever. So I didn't start an up. She looked at me, I looking at her or whatever. Then she could say again, like dead roughly, like card decline. And I was just like, okay, mess on here, you calm down. Like, and that was just so annoying to me because like, just calm down, be like, okay, yeah, you're frustrated, I didn't hear you. But, like, what can I do if I didn't hear you? Like, damn. <sighs> but, yeah. And then this other time, I went to a perfume store and I wanted to record for my video. And then the lady was like, Miss, you can't just come into people and store and start to record. I was like, Oh shit, like I literally stopped the video and I was like, oh shit, like my bad, like, but honestly, you shouldn't like speak to a customer like that, like all, he, all she had to say was, hey, recording isn't allowed in this store, and I would have got it, like I wouldn't have just like gone, done my own thing, and she say I can't record, you know, but she didn't even like give me a chance to like have an option, and that was crazy to me, like, a really poor customer service and i email them people <laughs> i must he was trying to get free things off them but like free perfume <laughs> and i was trying to get into perfumes and stuff like build up my collection but perfumes honestly so expensive so it's really hard to get into it but they never email me back i mean they never did dm me back so i don't know the page must be run by bots. But yeah. That was the other incident. But I mean, everybody friendly and stuff, I guess. But, yeah. Over here remind me of, like, the Bahamas with the small roads and everything. It's very mountainous. I think it's mountainous. My my geography ain't, ain't good. But yeah. So, I used the NARS foundation. Don't ask why I have a drop up in that tissue because... Yeah, mind your business. Like, it doesn't close. The cap is faulty, I guess. Or whatever. So, yeah. I just have to wrap it. I keep it from spilling. I wasn't going to try to put, like, makeup on my forehead. Because I wanted to try, like, the look of not doing it. But, these bumps won't allow that, so... We're gonna do it. And I don't know when exactly I started not putting foundation first. And just doing like the concealer. I mean, and just doing like the concealer and then the blush and all that. I think it was back in July when I tried these looks, experimenting for the first time back in July. It's been working good for me, honestly. Like, I don't see the need to put foundation over your entire face. Well, to me, because I don't have, like, many, like, things to cover, you know? Pumps and stuff. So, it's not necessary for me to have a full face of foundation, you know? So, yeah, foundation is, like, provide coverage and stuff, so. 
I don't need that much coverage. Oh well. And like I said, it's been working for me. Quite fine. I visited some places since I've been here. Not much, but when my mom was here back in May, like we went on a full day tour. We saw the Granny Tang Lake. We saw waterfalls. Well, Ardale waterfalls and Concord and I think it was another one. I wish I started my YouTube channel back then. But, you know, I would have had that footage. I would have had that footage on lock. I made a few friends. I want to get to know more people. Have more people to go out with and stuff. Don't see what I mean. Like, do, do we look like it still looks like it looks kind of wet? And I like that. I like that look. I like that. I like that look. I don't know. I like my chin to be a little brighter than this. And then around the edges. I've been watching Gossip Girl. I didn't even know they had a second Gossip Girl out. And of course, it's not like as bomb as the first. They only have two seasons, but I feel like it ended on a good note. So, I put on this Rare Beauty highlighter and mesmerize. I don't know, it's a pretty good highlighter. I mean, I think so. I don't really be seeing a difference. Right there is KQ. I may have put too much. Gives like that subtle little glow. Nothing too crazy though. And now for the powders. To set it and all that jazz. I use this Black Radiance powder in Honeymoon. Bro, this drop over the Christmas break. And it went everywhere, like, and now I only have, like, a little left. I had this for years. I tell you, years. Y'all, I literally don't bake. I just set in the product. Set it with the liquid products and then set it with the powder. So, that's all I do. This is a blush palette from Metamorphosis. Like, I've been looking for powder blush palette because you know i have the liquid blush from rare beauty i've been looking for the powder blush palettes and this palette is so pretty look at that red look at the pinks and just have a great variety oh, i love it it's like a little blush a dark dark pink and it's like a hot pink dark pink hot pink blush like peach kind of brown on the door kind of orangey honestly and red because like I said, I have the liquid blush from Rare Beauty, but I wanted a powder blush to like go over it to set it. Which isn't like necessary if you're doing like a natural look, but for me, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna step. I saw some good dupes, like the, I think it's the one size, but it only came in one. Like it only came with one and I was not, they're so expensive, I was literally not. And then it's the Fenty, like, Dykri Dip. And then it's the NARS Orgasm. But it's only one color, and those brands, blush and stuff, are expensive. So, like I said, I was not getting one blush for, like, 30-something dollars. Like, I just wanted a palette so that it could just make it, you know, one purchase type stuff. And a bang for your buck, if you know what I mean. But I found this on TikTok. And I love it. I kind of OD with the blush sometimes, but I can never have too much blush. Is that right, sweetie? It is right. And I taped this brush for my sister. <laughs> I know she's looking all over for this. I stole a brush for the proper English speakers. Got some highlights. Oh shit, I left that on a brush. Well, I guess that's what I get. I stole a brush and left the brush. And when I spray this, the blush is gonna get toned down. I hope. With my makeup experience, it's possible. Well, with the background I have, I think it's possible. Put on the bridge of my nose. right there we're gonna go in with the NYX can't stop won't stop 
modifying powder and beep and it's just a set like my entire face like they set the foundation because this is a powder foundation right i don't know the words off so i can't really see but if it's going on in my whole face why the rest not setting powder off that's left yes you know oh od the lamb the lamb set this set around my brows Oh, see, I tap too much. So my brush, my blush gone. My blush gone. <laughs> Girl, I'm a junkie for blush. I'm sorry. I'm a literal junkie for blush. I'm a blush junkie. Okay, actually, let me add some more. So when I spray, it's there. Put some on my nose. Because it gives cute. I'm about the red. No, it's reindeer. I wasn't supposed to sing that. I just was supposed to say that, but I guess it came out as a song. Let me spray with this first. I look a little dumb. Press everything in together. Make sure it meshes. Make sure it's one seamless this blush line that's at the bottom we gotta get that in the top okay we literally just meshing everything together making them one instead of this one that way a line this way yeah Okay, and now, Stay All Night Micro Fine Set and Mess by Elf. I thought this was the Dewey store matte one. Actually, I don't know if this matte. I got the Stay All Night. Because I saw it on TikTok, and plus, I wanted like to lock in all the Deweyness. it in anymore but i'm just let that <coughs> set put away these brushes and i'm done actually i'm not done i have to do my lip i don't know what i think i was doing i think i'm honestly just gonna go with the white outfit i don't know it looks cute and fancy and yeah so y'all this is how i'm looking that's a little button down shirt I wanted to do it crisscross, but I feel like this way is cuter. Yeah. I'll wipe my lip. I'm get out of here. I don't even know where my lip pencils are. I cannot find any of my lip pencils, so we're gonna go with this. The gel liner. That's a lot. I don't know what lip I want. I don't accessorize, put on my shoe, everything, but I still cannot find a lip. I, I have so much lip combos I can't go for, but it's so hard. Oh, I know what I want. I know what I want. Cairo. This is a lot. Lipstick. Nick Soft Matte. Let that dry quick. Yeah, this is Moth by Mark. Y'all, I literally do not know. I feel like I need a pop of color. I'ma add some color. I really didn't want to go red. We don't have to. I tried to go red, that red wasn't given. So 
my last option is pink. I like pink, but it's not like my go-to. But I honestly feel like it would go past with this. Ooh, the red isn't coming out that bright, so that's why I'm not going with the red. Where the frick is the pink right now? I think I leave that extra. Ma, can't be kidding me. Nothing wants to see me winning, bro. Literally, they don't want to see me winning. You know what? We can throw this on and call it a day. So we settled for this color. I don't know. So y'all, I'm finished getting ready. This is how it looks. Yeah, makeup outfit. I'm doing what I want Hope you know what you want